Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So in this video, I will demonstrate how search products API is used to get product details. This is a Hotwax commerce app and we have created a product service in which we have created a fetch product service where we have kept the search products API. This service will be called in the product store module action file and we will provide some payload to get the product details so in payload we can give view size view index and filters and we can send product id sku or product name in payload to get products on the basis of that so if we are sending sku then the product will be uh, filtered using the SKU and if we are sending the product ID then it will be on the basis of product ID here we want to search product on the basis of SKU that is I want a product to be searched on the basis of SKU so accordingly I have given a filter SKU as payload if we want the product to be searched on the basis of product ID, then I would have uh, entered the product ID field over here. And in the response, it will give the product ID detail accordingly. Search product API is also used in this picking app to scan the product. So basically, this is the scanner and the scanner gives product ID to search product API to get the product detail. We are getting the product detail on this page using this set current pick list and this set current pick list is getting the details from this fetch products action which is using the search product API. We can use this search product API with other APIs as well and here is another example for this. This is Bopis app and inside this we have used search product API with uh, orders API. So in this Bopis app to get the orders we have used this action get open orders and inside that we are dispatching get product information and this product information is again dispatching the fetch product and as we know this did this fetch product is using the service of search product API. So in this way, this search product API is used uh, to display the product details. First one was how we can filter the product according to SKU and products. The second I showed how we have uh, scanned the product by using this search product API. And the third one was how we can use this search product API with other APIs to display product data along with another API data as well. So thank you so much for watching this video.